Hey guys, it's me, Edward Ray, and today I'm going to talk about the regional convention or the international convention, where it is that in 2022 the Jehovah's Witnesses will have a regional convention. If they do, here's a few things that you want to know about. A regional convention or a international convention they are both cash cows. I mean, the organization makes a lot of money off of the many visitors that they get. Whenever you are coming down and you're renting a hotel room, you are not getting it at a good rate. Why? Because there's a kickback involved in which the organization makes some money off of you. During the regional conventions, uh, whenever you have a hotel list, that hotel list is hand selected. They don't want you to take this list to other hotels to get the same rate or a better rate because they're making money off of you. Whenever there is an international convention or a regional convention, the organization gets a lot of comp rooms. Otherwise, they get some free rooms that they can do whatever they want with. For every so many blocks that are reserved and rented, well, the organization they get comp rooms. So when I was an elder, we would get a list and the list was of all these hotels and they had all these comp rooms that were available. No, they weren't given out to the poor. They weren't given out to, you know, the needy or anything like that. They weren't given out to the handicap. Although you could fill out a form and in that form, it's called a special needs form, then you could be selected to get a free room, but they're still gonna want you to donate. They don't mention this to everyone. Why? Because at the end of the convention, these rooms are sold off. So why do I say that? Well, I was one of the elders that I would call up only other elders or ministerial servants that are in good standing, otherwise that have the funds to do it, We'd call them up and say, hi, would you like to be part of a program where we will comp your rooms for you? Just tell us how many rooms you have, how many night stays, we'll comp those rooms for you. But instead of you paying for your hotel stay, just put that amount of money inside the contribution box. And that's how it works. So basically they were selling free rooms to people, but they call it donations. There are so many families that could have benefited from this, but they don't care. It's all about you're just a number and they want more money. So we all look forward to lining up at the front of the Coliseum or wherever you're going to have the international convention or the regional convention, just so that way you could be all crowded. It's burning hot because it's summertime and everybody's going to rush in and get seats. It looks pathetic. And uh, the other thing is, is, I mean, it's hot outside and you have this family, you're toting along, you're trying to tote your lunch because they, they, don't, they don't want you to buy from the vendors outside because that might be contributing to worldly people, right? Don't want them to make money. They make it seem like, you know, these vendors are like cockroaches. They just view people that are not Jehovah's Witnesses as dirt. They even have a problem with ice cream vendors. I mean, it's hot outside. So basically, if you go to convention, you have to take your own lunch. You have to hope that your ice packs keep your food cool. And you got to stuff your lunch underneath your seat while you're there at the convention. It's really pathetic because, you know, everybody looks like they're having a bunch of picnics out there. And, you know, it's just, it doesn't look good. It looks bad. Um, I've seen it some places where we'd have assemblies and at the assemblies they wouldn't even allow you to have water bottles in there I mean, we're in Arizona. There was one time here in Arizona that we rented a school So that way we can have an assembly and during that assembly guess what the air conditioners went off And of course there were brothers at the doors making sure nobody brought in any kind of coolers lunch drinks water nothing so they couldn't bring anything inside and well, the AC went out, they kept on with the program, people were passing out, finally somebody ran and got a whole bunch of water bottles and they were passing water bottles around and it was such a mess. It was a hazard. People should not be treated like this. I mean, really? That spiritual food which is just, you know, rehearsed garbage, it's just, it's the same stuff that you read in the publications. All they're doing is just basically reading an old watchtower to you 
there's nothing new there's nothing different and it's not a joyous event it's not joyous to try and hurry up and get there so that way you have good seats it's not joyous if you can't even relax and it, it's just it's a mess so anyways with that one case I mean I just remember people passing out it, it, they were hot it's embarrassing it's an embarrassment and that whole thing you know going to assemblies and conventions it's all a joke in their publications it talks about how Satan will put burdens upon people that they can't bear well that's what this organization does it puts burdens on the backs of people that are just everyday people these higher-ups they treat all the other Jehovah's Witnesses as slaves and they even call them slaves. Who wants to be called a slave? You know, the last convention that I went to was the International Convention of 2019 and I only went for that Friday and that was it. That was the last meeting that I ever went to and it was ridiculous. I mean, you know, you get there and of course it's, it's mad. It's just a madhouse. We sat way up in the nosebleeds because unless you got there really early, then you're not going to get a good seat, which I really wasn't enthused to be there anyways. So I get there and it was just a mess. Um, leaving at the end of the day, it was just people just just crammed into these big old giant, you know, hallways or I don't know what you call them. It's underneath the stadium there in Phoenix and it was hot and they have water bottles there, but they're not going to give them to you unless you're a delegate, which that's another subject that I think is cringy, the delegates. Yeah, they won't offer you a water bottle, but when you're on the outside of the stadium, they'll offer you water bottles, ice cold water bottles. They're just giving them out to everybody. Why? Because they want to make it look good to the people passing by on the streets. That was it. On the inside, no, it was chaos. I asked somebody for a water bottle. They said, oh no, you know, there's, you can't have these, these are for the delegates. And I mean, there were like four cases underneath their table. And they said, oh, but there's a water fountain. And I was like, I am not drinking out of a water fountain. I mean, yeah, they probably didn't even clean those things. It was just condescending and it was ridiculous because I wasn't a cash cow. I wasn't the delegate who was the cash cow. That's why they treat them so good. Really cringy for me because when I showed up, I started seeing all these international delegates and it was like Halloween, except, no, it's actually like Halloween. I was embarrassed, you know, and going to the international convention and seeing all these different people dressed up like all these Disney characters, basically, because that's, you know, a traditional garb of where they're from, but people really don't wear those anymore. And then, you know, Samuel Hurd shows up and dresses up like Bozo the Clown, you know, that kind of was a straw that broke the camel's back. So this will be the second year that our family has not been to any kind of assembly or convention. It is such a relief. Why? Because it was always a very stressful time. Number one, trying to get time off of work to be there because they expect you to be there. It's just a waste of three days of your life and you're paying for it because you are the cash cow. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button so that way you don't miss the next one. And other than that, thank you for watching.